Hello, this is just a quick update on what I'm doing on Sunday. What I wanted was a small, light, easily portable uh, sailing ship to um, act as a test bed for autopilot software. But we didn't seem to have one of those, but what we have got is this. Which is, weighs 20 kilograms and has the hydrodynamics of a concrete block, I would say. Um, Dick came down yesterday and we spent the whole day sorting out the masts and the rigging in the sails. And uh, dealing with the rudder and so on. And... Uh, the next thing is to waterproof the deck properly. If we take this deck off, it looks pretty horrid in there. And um, Dick left me with strict instructions that what I've got to do is get rid of all this gunge around here so that we can reseal this, which has come apart. I started doing that, but I soon realised that this piece of plywood is not really it, it's past its sell-by date so I took it out there it is use that as a template for a new one I think and then I have cleaned off one side of it from here round to there in the process I discovered that there is in fact a hole here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's see if I can get this right. But obviously I have to fix that. This is also a bit uh, crappy. Well, and, and the corners are crappy. This corner is a bit loose. Uh, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. But what I would really prefer is a small, light, watertight boat that I can just put some electronics and software on because electronics and software is what I do, not so much DIY fiberglassing. However, that's what we've got, so let's get on with it. Well, there you go. This hull is only intended as a test bed for the autopilot software, so the exact way that it sails isn't very important because the software is intended to be adaptive and it isn't very clever in terms of sailing. Um, so we just need a platform with a rudder and some sails for test purposes, and that's what uh, this is intended to be. Thanks for watching.